Okay, Houston, right. we've had a problem here. This is Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Houston, we don't got no problems because we are learning about how to name hydrocarbons. What's a hydrocarbon? Something with hydrogen and carbon. Now, when we talk about hydrocarbons, there's three kinds of hydrocarbons. The first ones are called alkanes. These have nothing but single bonds. We should just say single. An alkene has a double bond, at least one double bond. T-O-U-B-L, double bonds. And an alkyne, they have triple bonds. I think there's only one P in triple. Okay, triple, <laughs> whatever. And when we're trying to name them, what we do is we just use the numbers. Methyl, ethyl, propyl, butyl, pentyl, hexyl, heptyl, heptyl, octyl, and nonyl. So let's see if we could just name a hydrocarbon. So if I've got this chemical, and I can draw the H's. Sometimes the chemist will shortcut each H. Each carbon needs four connections. He's got four. He's already got three, so I just put one hydrogen here, one hydrogen here, and three right here. You know what his name is? I got one, two, three, four, and he's got a double bond. So four, if you recall, is butyl, but this will be butene. Not butane, but butene. And actually, you know what we have to say? We'll say 2-butene. Now, why do you think I said 2-butene? Because what we do is we have to identify where the double bond is. The double bond is on carbon number two. Carbon number one, carbon number two, carbon number three, carbon number four. By the way, we could also call it one, two, three, four, right? We could go backwards. So it's actually the lowest number that we can get. So if we want to say where the, uh, the bond is, uh, we have to. We put the two in front. So that's called two butene. Well, let's do a, another one. Let's uh, do something with a triple bond. Let's say I've got C, triple bond C, 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 C. And then there's a bunch of H's. What we would do is there's one, two, three, four, five, six. The prefix is hex. So this would be hexine, Y-N-E. E, X, Y, and E. And I've got to identify where the triple bond is, and we would just say one hexine. If the triple bond is moved over, then you would count more. Now, as a note, if I had, let's say the, the bond was not here, but was here, you know what you'd call this? You'd call this one hexene, because the triple bond is on carbon number one, because we can flip it around, if that makes sense. So it doesn't really matter if that makes any sense at all. You, you go with the lowest number and you can count from the left to the right or whatever. Now the, the question that you might be asking is, what if there was a triple bond, two triple bonds? All right, like this. So that's never long one hexene ion, but it's still gonna be hexine, hex, Y, and E. And we've got it on carbon number two, three, four, two, three, so it's both, it's, it's symmetrical, so it's two, three, four. So you'd say two comma four dihexine to indicate that there are two triple bonds. The other thing when you're naming these hydrocarbons is sometimes you have branched groups because it's not always like a perfect, like they're all in one straight line. What if I've got C, 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 huh, branch. What you do is you find the longest chain, and that's your base name. So one, two, three, four. So that's butane, all single bonds. But then what I need to do is I need to name this. And I'm going to number this this direction. One, two, guys, with the lowest number. So what I'd say two dash methyl butane. Now, because at carbon number two, there's a methyl group. Now, when I say a methyl group, that's a group with one carbon, one carbon methyl. So two methyl butane. Got it? Let's do another one. All right, that's kind of a long one and it looks crazy. All right, so let's count our longest group. Now, the temptation is to go one, two, three, four, five, but the longest group is one, two, three, four, five, six. So his base name is hexane. So that takes care of these. Now I've got a branch here and a branch here. This is a one carbon branch. We're going to get the numbers with the lowest. So one, two, three, four, five, six, or one, two, three. They're both three, four. So I think I'd count here. So I'll call this a three, and this is my four carbon. So I would say three methyl, four ethyl, 
hexane. Make sense? So I, I'm, 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 I identify the branches. So actually, I do the, the last name first, so to speak. And then I identify the branches and where you find them. You're going to have lots of opportunities to practice these in class. It's super crazy simple. You just have to kind of figure out methyl, ethylpropyl butyl, what the numbers are. And then you play kind of a counting game. Super easy. Hydrocarbon naming, super easy. We'll see you in class because Houston, we don't got no problem.